The next story I'll tell, I learned from Raymond Moses Sr. of the Snohomish people. It's called Beaver and Field Mouse. Now you know who Beaver is, right? Beaver is that little animal with a brown fur and a flat tail. And Beaver leads a complicated life, if you ask me, because Beaver chews down a tree to make a dam. Beaver makes a dam to make a pond. And Beaver makes a pond to build his house in. And that is a lot of work, to chew down a tree, to make a dam, to make a pond, to make your house. And that is Beaver. And Field Mouse is that little mouse that lives in the grass. Well, this is their story. A long time ago, Beaver was walking through the woods when he saw the cutest thing he ever saw. He saw a little field mouse, and he had a crush on her. He thought she was so cute, and he said, Oh, I wish I could talk to her, but she'll never talk to me because I'm just old Beaver, and she's beautiful little field mouse. Oh, what can I do? He would hide behind trees and peek at her. Other times, he would walk by and look at her out of the corner of his eyes. Finally, he went to his cousin Squirrel and said, Cousin Squirrel, you're the smartest of all my relatives. What should I do? Should I talk to her? And his cousin Squirrel said, Yes, you should. So Beaver worked up all of his courage, and he came walking out of the woods, heading towards Field Mouse. And as he walked towards her, all the animals in the forest could hear this noise. His heart was thumping really hard in his chest. He was afraid. But he walked up to her, and he said, <clears throat> um, Hi, Field Mouse. Hi, how are you? She looked up at him, and she said, Hello. He said, Oh, good, she talked to me. What'll I do now? Oh, I know. He slicked back his hair, and he stuttered a few times, and then he blurted out, uh, Field Mouse, will you marry me? And she looked at him and said, Eek, no, you're too fat. Beaver started to cry, and he walked away crying. Oh, why did I talk to her? She doesn't like me. She says I'm too fat. Oh, what can I do? He wandered the woods for days and days, thinking about his problem. He thought, I know I can go on a diet. <sighs> no, I don't want to do that. Then he thought some more, and Beaver knew that cedar tree would help him. Cedar tree, the native people call long life maker because it gives you everything that you need. Cedar tree gives people the inner bark, to make their clothes. It gives them wood so that they can make their house. It gives them the log to carve out their canoes. It gives them the bark and the roots to weave their baskets. It even gives them the soft inner bark to make baby diapers. Well, Beaver knew that cedar tree would help him. So he went up to cedar tree and he pulled off a big strip of bark. And then he tore that strip into smaller strips. And then he took those little strips and he started to weave them very carefully. He wove them together until he had a big belt. He wrapped that belt around him like a girdle and he pulled it really tight. And then he said, yes, this works. Now I don't look so fat. Let's see what she says now. And he came walking out of the woods again, heading towards Field Mouse. And she thought he looked a lot cuter now. And when he got up to her, he bent down to ask her the question, and do you know what happened? The belt broke. It snapped, and it hit poor Field Mouse across the head. It knocked her out of the woods into the grass, and she got up. She was staggering around. She was all dizzy, and that is why whenever you see a Field Mouse as it runs through the woods, it never runs in a straight line. It always runs in a zigzag line.